is given. In sometimes the sample variance is only is given. Mm -hmm. In both the cases, it has been considered. See, see. Whether it is okay is the, to the, see, see. Thing is that uh, if the population variance is unknown, means only sample variance is given to you. Correct. Okay. That means you have to use the t-test. Uh, t-test is for the mean no, for the two two sample. The two yeah, sample we can, we can use. I see. But it was not used t, t, t tested. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I have slides uh, of the lecture video. I will go through uh, the slides, okay? We'll try to cover each and every topic and we'll discuss the things. I will let you see. Only basic difference between, see, t test I can use for the testing for the mean. Let's say consider for the one sample, correct? Correct, correct. But in which scenario you are going to use the t statistics? When uh, I don't have information about the variance. Variance of the yes. distribution means population varies, right? Correct, correct. That's why yes. we are using x bar divided by something capital S divided by square root of and follow t and minus one. What is that as? Yeah. That as uh, we get from the samples, not from the population. If correct. suppose I'm saying x1, x2, xn are from normal, let's say with mean two and variance four. Now mm. I have information about the original distribution, then I will use the normal distribution. Correct? Mm -hmm. Not TJ. Mm -hmm. If I'm saying x1 to xn is following normal, let's say mu uh, mu is 2 and variance is sigma square. I don't know, I, I don't have information about the original distribution. Then mm -hmm. I will use the, I will go for the t test. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the single, it was like that, but uh, somehow I think I got confused well for the two sample one. Okay, okay. I will, I, I will come, we will come to that. Okay. Right, okay. Right. Let me, uh, let me share my screen. Okay, so is my screen visible to all of you? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. okay, great. So now, uh, so all the test research, uh, there is uh, some intro for the test, uh, different kind of test statistics. So I will go through the slides, okay, mm -hmm. lecture slides. Now see, since uh, as you, if you are remembered in week seven and week eight, uh, we have done this uh, statistics test, sample mean, and uh, we know what uh, uh, I mean. Sample mean is the unbiased estimate of the population mean, right? We have derived it, okay? Or also you can take the expected value of x bar. So what it will be? It will be n mu divided by n. So at the end I will get mu, correct? Correct. And this is the sample variance formula, one upon n minus. So these things I think uh, I'm hoping uh, you are aware about this. And what is this? What is the meaning of expected value of sample variance is equal to sigma square? It will tend to sigma square when n becomes higher. Okay, uh, that's okay. And what is the meaning? Of, what is the interpretation of this thing? Interpretation. Yeah, like see, here I can say uh, x bar is the unbiased estimate of the population mean, right? Yeah. So I can say here uh, sample variance is an unbiased estimate of population variance, right? Are you yeah. getting? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. The same thing. Okay. So now, Okay, so this thing is, uh, if x1, x2, xn is iid, normal mu comma sigma square. So what will be x bar? Mu comma sigma square by n, right? Correct. This thing is clear to all of you? Yes. No. And this is the one test statistics for the sample variance. Right, yes. Right. Means yeah. suppose, see, it, uh, there might be case uh, where uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to uh, test the variability of the uh, two, let's say, uh, variability to test the, I mean, variability of the uh, data set, right? So yeah. I know the test for the mean, I know test for the, uh, see, when sigma square is unknown, then I will use the t test. If sigma square is known, I will use the uh, normal okay. tests, right? But if, uh, what about sample variance? So for the sample variance, there is test uh, statistic which is denoted as n minus one times of s square divided by sigma square. This is follow chi square n minus one degree of freedom. Okay, so anyone of you can tell me what is the meaning of degree of freedom? What do you understand by the degree of freedom? That was not clear, sir. That was not clear. Okay, so mm -hmm. there is one theory in stats. So just try to relate, I'm hoping you will get. So basically, uh, okay, number of choices. What kind of number of choices? So there is one theory you can 
let me fix this. So no, basically, degree of freedom we can treat as uh, number of independent variates, okay, which make up the uh, kind of you can say uh, statistic. What is the statistic? Like say you can consider chi square and all things t distribution or things. So we are considering number of independent variates which are helping to make the statistics. Okay. So see, if I'm saying chi square n minus one, that means I'm losing one variate, right? Means which is which is something uh, depending on somewhere, right? So why n minus is it's not in the course, but I'm just giving you idea basically. So see, I don't have information about the population parameter, right? Yeah. That's we are going to estimate, correct? Correct. So there is some uh, history behind it. If you are going to estimate, then we are losing one degree of freedom there. Okay. I mean, see, if you go for the t distribution, it's the t n minus one. So why n minus? Because we are going to estimate the parameter mu, correct? Because I don't have information about mu, right? We can estimate, right? Yes. Uh, so are you getting general idea? So basically, it's uh, nothing but uh, number of independent variates which help to make up the statistic. Correct? Okay. 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 So these are the graphs. These are for the uh, different uh, values of n normal sample. These are the different values of n chi square, and these are the uh, graphs of for the different values of uh, n uh, for the t distribution. Now come to this t test for the mean. So we will use t test when variance is unknown. Okay. If variance is known, then I will directly use the test statistics of normal distribution. Okay. So if that's z called, test. Yeah, that is called z. That is called the g test. When I will use g test, then sigma square is known to me. Then I will use g test. Else, if it's unknown, then I will I am going to use the t test. This basic difference is clear to all of you. Yes. yes sir. Okay. Now, if my hypothesis is given as uh, mu is equal to mu naught, and alternative is this, so I think uh, now you are familiar how to define the test uh, for uh, uh, testing our, I mean, for the rejection or acceptance of hypothesis, right? So if yes, it's uh, alternative is mu is greater than mu naught, then I will use the test as we will reject h naught when t is greater than c. If suppose I'm saying alternative is uh, mu is less than some value of mu now, then what will be the test statistics? X bar. And that's okay. T less than. C. Yeah. Hey, when wh what will be your test? T less than C. Correct. So I will reject my uh, null hypothesis. Then my test statistics will be less than C. So this is the basically T you can treat. Okay. Sign of alternate hypothesis will be used. Uh, can you repeat? Sign of uh, alternate hypothesis will be used. Hmm. Huh, yes. <laughs> now see. That is the z test. How I will proceed? Okay. How will I proceed for the uh, my test? Okay. So basically, see, if you go, so I'm saying my null hypothesis is what? Mu is equal to mu naught. Okay. So by this slide, is it okay, or should I write uh, what will be good? I mean, if you are okay, then I can just uh, make them understand to all of you, or else I can write also. What will be better for you guys? Hello. Right. Okay, right. Okay, see. <clears throat> and uh, I'm considering the minor hypothesis as let's say mu is greater than mu naught. Okay. So how will I proceed? So basically, uh, what is the alpha? Okay, let's define the test first. So what is what will be the test? I will reject my H naught if X bar is the greater than C, right? Now, so for this, what you have to do, since one uh, statistic you have to keep in your mind, like C, X bar minus mu naught divided by S by root n, this will follow T n minus one, okay? Mm -hmm. That means what? If I will, uh, I will see these things. You can keep in your mind. So what is this S? This is the sample variance. I can compute from my 
data set okay and this mu not i will take from the hypothesis correct and number of observation will be given to you and t is the nothing but x bar you can compute this sample mu from your sample data right now yeah. so why i am uh, saying this like see what is your alpha alpha is the probability of rejecting h not when null is true right so what you have to do whatever you have test statistics okay so what you have to do you have to convert like this mm. see yes. normal distribution what we are doing we are converting the things in the standard normal standard normal variate right so here what you can do i can do x bar minus mu not divided by s by root n can i do this this is same as c minus mu not divided by s by root n correct mu not is what h not uh, is given as mu is equal to mu not okay so far so good yes now what it will be in the normal what it, it become it become g test right yeah here it t, t f minus 1 greater than c minus this value right right now what i can do 1 minus probability of t n minus 1 less than c minus mu not s by root n correct so this this yes. value is this pdf uh, sorry cdf value will be provided to you okay so as for the data as for the example of the i mean question so we can find out the sample variance and number of observation and as per the test we will complete okay so don't worry about this uh, cdf values all the values will be provided sir. yes so this t n minus 1 is uh, standard normal not a standard normal it's a uh, t test okay standard normal is what standard mm -hmm. normal means we have we have i mean this sigma square is known to us but in mm -hmm. the t test mm -hmm. sigma square is uh, not given to us yes okay? sir. if sigma square is unknown to us then we are going to use the t test this t test uh, looks like normal but with a bigger correct, variance. Yeah, see, bigger see, variance. At the end, every distribution when n will be large every distribution will go for the normal Okay. See, if you can check if you uh, if you go for you can check on the on your own google and anywhere you can find out the t distribution let's say here n minus 1 degree of freedom right so if mm. you check t distribution with 364 value of t test uh, at 364 degree of freedom uh, or t at 365 or something for the large value you will get the uh, same value 1.6 the fz value Okay. FG value because for the large n, mm -hmm. uh, every distribution is going to uh, become normal. Okay, this you can check it there. Okay, you can check from anywhere. Okay, is are you getting a test? Is the same as that, but uh, instead of variance, we are using correct, the correct, variance. correct, correct. Because see, I don't have information about the sigma square, right? If I have information about sigma square, then I will directly go like this. See, uh, let me add my uh, one page. So I will go see. Suppose uh, I will I will proceed like this. Suppose uh, I am going to test x bar is greater than c, and I know uh, x one to x n following mu comma sigma square, and I I am saying let's say this is four, and let's say this is one, or let's uh, to whatever. So what I will do, and my let's say test statistic is h not is uh, mu is equal to uh, something whatever. Okay, so mu okay, so mu will not be given because we have to compute. So what we will do? We will do x bar minus mu. Let's say h naught is mu is equal to let's say let's say mu naught for in general. So what I will do? So what will be in the denominator? Sigma by root n, correct? Right. Right. So this will be c minus mu naught sigma by root n. So what it will be? It will be g greater than c minus mu naught sigma by root n. So basic difference: this sigma is known to us for the original distribution, but in the case of t test. We have to compute from the sample. Is it clear the uh, difference between these two? Clear, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. So this is a general question. Why is the t-test called called a t-test? Why is that? So why is why called... the t is what does that t mean? X Z is denoting normal distribution, standard mm -hmm. normal, right? Mm -hmm. What does t denote? Okay, so basically that's the difference uh, I was uh, telling uh, so far. See, in most uh, practical uh, scenario, 
uh, it's not possible. I mean, this is one standard procedure actually. Uh, this is some some statistician has done already. So basically, uh, in most practical situation, we don't have information about variability of original data set, right? Variance of the original data set. So for that different kind of scenario, t test uh, test is going to use. Uh, similarly, for the che checking the variability of the test, we are going to the we are going to use chi square test. So for different kind of scenario, there are different kind of distribution. Okay. So we have to just uh, uh, keep in mind the situation. In which situation I can use the different uh, kind of distribution. Okay. Now, see, yeah, there is another kind of distribution which is called a chi-square test. So, chi-square test, see, why? Okay, so like this, you can think, uh, see, for the measure of central tendency, we are going to use mean, we use mod, we use median, right? Correct. But in which scenario we are, uh, we prefer the mean, we prefer the mod, we prefer the median, right? There are different kind of situations, right? Different kind of test for getting the central idea about my data set correct the same thing you can think like this now so there is one test which is called chi square test for variance so far we have discussed for the mean so suppose i am saying x1 to xn are iid normal mu comma sigma square okay so null hypothesis is saying sigma is equal to sigma naught some value and alternative is saying sigma is greater than sigma naught okay so what will be my test so test will be I will reject my H naught when S is greater than C. What is S? This is the sample standard deviation, right? Yes. Correct. So now see, as you can see, our null was something mu equal to mu naught. Alternative was is greater than mu naught. So our test was something X bar greater than C, right? So where uh, I will proceed, I will prefer the sample varies. I mean sample standard deviation. Okay. And uh, you know how I can compute the sample variance. Sample variance is nothing but the, I can compute the sample variance from my data set as uh, one minus uh, one upon n minus one, summation of x i minus x bar whole square. Now, there is one more thing. As we have uh, discussed, the, there is a statistics n minus one s square, sigma square is called, uh, is followed chi square with n minus one degree of freedom, right? Now, for this scenario, what you have to do, see, as we have done for the t-test, correct? So I have, what is the my null hypothesis? This one, what is the my alternative? Sigma is greater than sigma naught, okay? So what will be my test? I will reject my H naught if sample standard deviation is greater than C. Now, how will I proceed? Since I know n minus one S square divided by sigma square, what is following? Chi square with n minus one degree of freedom, right? Yes. So for the performing alpha, what will be? Reject H0 means S is greater than C given H0. So probability S is what? So now what you have to do, you have to convert this and this in the form of this one. Yes. Correct? As, as we have done for the T test also. What we have to do, the distribution form. Correct? Same thing. What we have to do? So can I write this S square is greater than C square under H0? Yes, sir. Correct. The same thing what I can apply n minus 1 s square. So under H naught, sigma is the sigma naught is given to me. So I will write down the sigma naught square greater than c square divided by sigma naught square into n minus uh, 1. N minus 1. Correct. Yeah. Right. So what is this? This is the chi square n minus 1, right? Yes. Okay. The same thing if you do, you can I can do 1 minus probability of chi square n minus 1 less than uh, n minus 1 c square sigma naught square and this cdf value of uh, f chi square n minus 1 will be provided okay the yes, i mean sir. yeah see procedure are same okay procedure so are c should be known here yes yeah, c should be known or else what we can do if alpha is known so i can find out the value of c right Yes. In that scenario, uh, value of f inverse chi square and minus one will be provided to you. Hmm. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, since uh, so far we have discussed the test for the one sample, now we are going to consider suppose I have two samples. Okay. 
so what is the information i have now suppose i am saying x1 to xn are iid normal mu1 comma sigma1 square and uh, y1 up to y n2 are also iid normal mu2 comma sigma2 square and one more thing these two are also independent okay i mean suppose you have collected some uh, samples uh, from two different uh, independent uh, situation or uh, uh, two different scenario from two different scenario okay now as we know if uh, x1 to xn are iid normal mu comma sigma so what x bar is following mu comma sigma square by n right right yeah Let me write down the things. See, I have x one, x two, so on, x n are i i d normal mu one comma sigma one is correct, right? and it's a n one. So y one, y two, so on, y n two is i i d normal mu two comma sigma two is correct. So what it will be if I say x bar? So normal mu one comma sigma one square by n one. Yes. Correct. And what will be the distribution of y bar? Mu two comma sigma two square by n two, right? Right. Now we are going to test for the two samples. So I may be interested to know the uh, distribution of x bar minus y bar. So what it will be? Tell me the mean of the x bar minus y bar. Mu one minus mu two. Mu one minus mu two, and what will be the variance? Addition of both the variances. Why addition? Why not subtraction? Uh, that is because minus one square will be minus one. Great, great. Now see, in one uh, for the one sample case, uh, what we have do? Uh, so we have done like x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root n follow standard normal, correct? Hmm. But in case of two samples, so we will do x bar minus y bar divided by I mean minus mean of this divided by square root of this thing. Are you getting? Right. Right. The only difference of the this is okay. So tell me, there is one. But here, here the null is always mu one is equal to mu two. Is that? Yes, 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 yes. Means so uh, why uh, you can expect uh, null as mu one is equal to mu two. Suppose you have two samples. So you can see uh, mean effect of both sample are equal. Okay, means on an average you are uh, expecting uh, both uh, the both samples uh, is same. Okay. Okay. See for one sample, what you can do? My mu is something two, three, zero. Correct. I can expect right. Means I can claim anything right. Uh, average of this sample is uh, three. Average of this sample sure. is four. Anything. Sir, so can you explain that partly? In for the moment, I'm not getting uh, why the variance got added. Uh, okay, one minute. Uh, let me explain this one. Okay, so this is clear, Mohan Raj. Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you getting? Yes. See, for one yes, sample, yes. I can claim anything. Average. See, let's say average battery life of inverter or anything. So I can Correct. say for that average battery life is let's say ten years, five years. I can say anything, right? But I hope. So my question was whether always it will be equal or we it will we will say mu one minus mu two is equal to five something like that. that okay, that that's that's different. But uh, for this foundation level course, uh, we are going to consider mu one equal to mu. Okay, okay. It's a right. good to claim, right? It's a good to claim. Means suppose I have ten yes. samples of uh, let's say ten different uh, batteries of inverter, okay, right. and something right. another samples also. So then you can claim, right? Ki uh average life of both samples is equal right yes yes okay. are so you getting it is collected from the same source yeah same source that's why we are going to con right. consider the iid case right yes But that's why we are considering the iid samples yes, okay means suppose you i am interested to know any feature of let's say uh, plant of uh, rose okay then mm. is it good uh, you have uh, Collected the sample of rose plant, then you collected the sample of lotus. You collected the uh, sample from lily. Not right. I mean, Not if right. I want to estimate, I, if I'm interested to know characteristic of that rose plant, then I have to take the let's say ten or twenty samples, any mm. number of that rose plant. Right? That rose plant can be different. Mm. Okay. That's why we are going to consider IID. IID as we consider as good sample. Okay. So what about this one? Okay. So. You know what is the variance of x bar minus y bar? So what I can write the variance of x bar 
plus minus of this is right yes so variance of x bar it will be minus 1 square so variance of y bar now it is clear mm, yes sir okay so this will become sigma 1 square divided by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 okay so now come to this point so this thing this thing is clear for uh, one sample we can consider as i mean instead of n we have n1 instead of sigma we have uh, sigma 1 square right sx okay. means uh, sample variance of the first sample and sy means sample variance of the second sample okay the same thing we have done yeah there is one f distribution uh, in this uh, the t test uh, mm -hmm. two, two two sample t, t test right what is this t test i think it has been not introduced yet uh, no, s test s test z test two sample t test z test two sample g test uh, which you explained right now uh -huh. you explained that uh, that is uh, distribution uh your voice is breaking can you repeat hello variance right sigma 1 and no. sigma 2 uh you i mean sorry. i sorry. lost yeah. your voice so in sigma between. 1 can and sigma 2 mm -hmm. yeah the sigma 1 and sigma 2 of the uh, two two sample test is mm -hmm. both are distribution variance right yes yes this will be known to us it is given as distribution variance correct, it is correct. not yeah. sample variance no no this is not the sample variance but yes. in the practice, practice yes. assignment, uh -huh. one of the practice assignment question, uh -huh. uh, I think sample variance is given and we have followed this process. Uh, is it? Uh, where is that? In uh, there is one practice assignment question about the wire. Okay, okay. We'll, check. we'll check. We'll check it at the end of the slide. Okay. But okay. Uh, sigma square is known to us. That's why I'm, I, I will use the G test. Right, right. right. Okay. Okay. And say it will test will be different. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Now see, as we have done for the one sample. See, uh, for the let's say for the two sample. So suppose I want to check the equal. Uh, I mean variability of these two sample. So what will be my uh, null hypothesis? Sigma one is equal to sigma two. Right. Correct. So suppose this is uh, hypothesis. So uh, as I know for the sigma, what we have to do. I have done these things for one sample, right? Correct. So yeah. for the for these two samples, what it will be? So I'm going to take the something. Uh, uh, let's say they are going to. It's a sigma one square. Right? Okay. So basically, it's nothing but uh, we have to take the ratio of these two. Okay. Right. So ratio of these two uh, is become the f distribution. Basically. Okay. Okay, if you take this one, see, uh, uh, let me take. So, what it will be? This will be chi square with n1 minus 1. And what will be for the second sample? Let's say sy square and sigma 2 square, chi square n2 minus 1, right? So, what will be the ratio of these two? n1 minus 1, sx square divided by sigma 1 square, yeah. divided by n2 minus 1, sy square divided by sigma 2 square, right? Yes. Correct. Now, for the null hypothesis, that will follow same. Can you show that the previous screen? This one. Uh, why the right hand side does not change? Oh, oh, oh one second, one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So uh, it uh, it will be F distribution actually. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Correct. Now, for the first one, it's, see there is one concept for the F distribution. If chi square n one, if I'm dividing with the dig this degree of freedom, and Another uh, chi square random variable. If I will divide by this degree of freedom, this will become f distribution with n one comma n two degree of freedom. Correct. This is okay. the one concept. So here I have one chi square random variate. I have another chi square random variate. If I will divide these two, I will get f n one minus one comma n two minus one. Yeah. Are you getting the idea? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> So what is the thing here? So what will be uh, whether sigma one square will be here or not? Hello. Sigma. Sigma. Sigma one and sigma two are equal. Correct. 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 See what we are. Uh, uh hypothesis. Okay. See under null hypothesis, my sigma one square will be sigma two square. 
correct correct so what will be this will be sx square divided by sy square whether it will follow this one or not yes what yes. happens n minus 1 and n1 minus 1 and n1 n2 minus 1 that is sigma is equal sigma is equal okay 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 yeah, because like they they are because they are constant we are just saying that they are proportional uh no 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 see 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 okay 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 uh, there is a mistake actually uh, when it will be fn1 comma n2 when i will divide by n1 right 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 okay, okay. this this whole thing was chi square correct so correct. i had done only chi square so i have divided with n minus 1 also right yes okay the same thing for the this one so this n uh, n1 minus 1 n2 minus 1 will get cancel out so I, I will get uh, sigma s x square divided by sigma one square s y square by sigma two square. But under null hypothesis, I am considering sigma one is equal to sigma two, okay, so it will be s x square divided by s y square follow f n one minus one comma. Now it is clear. See yes. how is the test yes, sir, is very good, right? See, you want to check the variability for the two different set, okay? And mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, samples for the one data, samples of the second data, right? Then you can simply calculate the sample variance of the first data sample variance of the second data and you got the ratio and you will get that test right the same thing uh, okay so now it's the something known okay so yeah the same thing right see we i uh, i had discussed uh, earlier okay so what you have to do as per the test Okay, so here it has been considered y bar minus x bar. You can consider x bar minus y bar also. No need to worry. That's why here uh, mod values. Uh, I mean, modulus is taken. Okay, absolute value is taken. You can consider x bar minus y bar also. So it will be uh, see for the two two sided test. So you, if you remember, what we have considered x bar minus mu greater than c for one sample, right? If you remember. Anyway, correct correct yes yes what yes what was the two test what we are going to mod of x bar minus y bar greater than c correct right. right see yes what it will be uh, let me add one test see i have x bar minus y bar is following normal uh, mu1 minus mu2 divided by sigma1 square divided by n1 plus sigma2 square divided by n2 so i'm just make it as sigma t i mean for the simplicity okay so what is the h not mu1 is equal to mu2 What is the H A? Mu one is not equal to mu two, right? So for this two-sided test, in one sample case, what was our test? Mod of x bar minus mu is greater than C. Then I will reject my H not, right? That was the my test. So here it will be alpha reject H not. So mod of x bar minus y bar, you can take y bar minus x bar. Let's say y bar. I mean, so that you can't. Uh, I mean, you are not. You don't get confusion. So this is greater than C, correct? Under H not now, so what we have to do? So what we we have done so far? So we have to subtract the mean and divide by variance, correct? Yes. So if you subtract the mean, so mu one is equal to mu two. That means under H not, x bar minus y bar will be zero. Expected value, right? Okay, one second, one second, one second. Let me clear one thing. So what it will be? this things i have to do right divide by sigma t correct correct correct, correct. greater than c minus mu1 minus mu2 for making the standard normal this things i have to do or not correct correct, correct? but under h not as what is h not mu1 is equal to mu2 that means this will become zero this will become zero correct correct so this is at the end it will become the mod g which is greater than c by sigma t and uh, you can find out like uh, two times of uh, probability j is less than minus c by sigma t and this value will uh, you have idea how, how it will be two times of yes yes okay yes. due to symmetricity right yeah okay. now uh, the two sample lab test as i have told you okay so the same thing you have to apply but here one major thing is uh, test is, uh, is different 
so i will reject h not when my test t is greater than 1 plus cr or less than 1 minus cl so any one of you can tell me why is uh, 1 plus cr and 1 minus cr not uh, something exact question it is not symmetric correct okay. because f distribution is not symmetric while in the normal and all thing it's something symmetric right yeah so it's not symmetric so that's why we are considering there's a is the something some gap from the one for the upper limit and some gap for the uh from the one for the lower limit okay so since okay. it's a two test so i will reject h not for this and i will reject h not when it is let's see you can consider like this uh for the one sample test what we have do we have done like this right so this means what x bar was greater than mu plus c i will reject or x bar is less than mu minus c then i will reject right correct correct the same thing is there for the two mm. sample correct since it's yeah. not symmetric then uh, there is only two criteria it's a 1 plus cr and a 1 minus c okay right. i mean there is a different uh, test like see you can see f distribution is like this so since suppose this is one so i will reject my h not when is uh, something uh, there is a gap from one for the upper limit and uh, less than 1 minus cr so this region is alpha by 2 this region is alpha by 2 since it's two sided it, it make it will be the alpha correct mm. uh some reason prashant rail van okay yes prashant sir yes. hello yeah yeah please clear yes the sample variance of x by sample variance of y yeah yeah just wanted to confirm Sample variance of x divided by sample variance of y. Yeah. I mean, what you are asking? Asking? Can you repeat? Just wanted to confirm the formula, sir. Yeah, yeah. It's a sample variance of x ratio of sample variance of x divided by sample variance of y. Okay. So yeah, like G test. So suppose this is the mu, right? Let's say standard normal. So it's a zero, right? So it's a two-sided test for the G test. It's a something like this, right? So this is the alpha by two. This is the alpha by two. This uh, two combined make the alpha, correct? That's why yes. we are uh, for this region we are rejecting H not, and for this region we are rejecting H not. The same thing for the F, but it's a something for uh, mm. not symmetric. It's a, that's why we are considering some gap. Okay. Mm. Now the same thing we can do, right? See. Uh, at we have done for the test for the t. See what is the our test is here. I will reject my h not if test is statistic is less than one minus c l or it is greater than one plus c r. C r is the same. Now, so my test is x x uh, x x square divided by x y square, right? So what is the alpha? Alpha can be say okay, what what is the alpha? The probability of uh, both. both sides right so but uh, it's not al alpha we have to consider alpha by 2 yeah right? for each side yeah for each side because this is the alpha by 2 this is alpha by 2 right you, you can right. consider uh, uh, one also right so it's a alpha by 2 will be probability of reject h not when i will reject when t is less than 1 minus under the h not right so it's alpha by 2 so it's a direct uh, you can compute right so t is something what It's a s x square divided by s y square, right? Yes. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, here if uh, the CD the PDF of this the if uh, distribution is not asymmetric, isn't it, sir? So then why are we taking why are we equating that both the regions equal to alpha by two? Could you please explain? See, one region is given to us only alpha by two, right? Ah uh, yes. See. Okay. So the, would the area, area be same, right? See, this blue region and uh, green region are the rejection region, right? Yes, sir. And the what is the in between region? This Accept tell me. This red red region is acceptance region one minus alpha. Yes, sir. Correct. So addition of uh, whole thing should be one. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Correct. So that's why we are considering only one uh, side, right? So alpha by two. Will be either this green region with the when I will reject. 
one only for the when my t will be less than one minus cn or t will be greater than one plus c. Right? Yes. If you consider alpha, then we need to add. Correct. Yes. Here or so uh, would the area area under the curve be same, right? See. It should be same, right? It has to be same. That, that is what. No? Which area you, uh, you are talking about? The green and blue areas should be equal, right? Uh, it's something tail kind of thing, right? Yeah, that that CDF, that portion CDF has to be equated, right? That is why it is alpha by two. Which one you are talking? This uh, green and blue. Yeah, green and blue. Okay, okay. You are talking about uh, we have done alpha by two equal to probability of this and uh, probability of uh, uh, I mean this uh, blue region, right? Probability of yes. t greater than something. Yeah, yes. that's why we had see combinedly it will be it will be alpha separately. Hmm. It's alpha by two. Yes, yes. Oh. And sir, small question here huh? uh, in F distribution, uh -huh. n one and n two are used. So, uh, is there any condition on that like uh, n1 should be greater than n2 or they could be anything uh, uh, i think uh, n1 should be greater greater than n2 i think because uh, as per the ratio um, as per i think i need to check whether it's uh, because see as i can uh, this ratio is true anyway, when I sx anyway. square is greater than yeah we can do it anyway, na? No? Sy by Sx or Sx by Sy, both no, are no, same. No, I think uh, there is some criteria. Okay, I will check whether in it's selecting uh, the samples. Huh? In selecting the samples. Uh, not in number selecting the samples, samples. Numbers of the what? samples. Yeah, that's no, only important. the distribution will change. The distribution, F distribution inside that those number will change. The freedom numbers will change. That's okay. Uh, he is talking about the ratio. Actually, correct. So I think, uh, I, but I'm not sure, uh, hundred percent sure. But uh, I think uh, this should be S X square should be something greater than G. Uh, I mean, greater than the second one. Which one is greater? You can take the ratio. Okay, sir. Oh, I see. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's okay. not compulsory as uh, you have to take the first sample always. Okay, I will check the for the hundred percent surety, but. Uh, I, I think as I can remember, it's something the sample variance which is greater than it's uh, you can take. That's why see S X squared divided by S Y is greater than one. If you take the less uh, one, then I don't think it will be. I mean, variance would be something positive, right? Kind of things. Yeah. Actually, the from the given values, we can see what we have to take first. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Ha means suppose you have computer S X squared is coming out to be let's say nineteen and S Y is coming. Coming out to be 18, then you can simply sx squared no, divided by sy. No, the, for the given values of f distribution, they will give in the bracket the number. Yeah, this this will be given. This will uh, be given. So from this number, n my which uh, the first number and second number, we can understand which sample is correct. Correct. Number. Suppose someone is uh, any value is three or four like this. Mm -hmm. uh, accordingly, you can uh, interpret the thing. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So see. Uh, the next topic is something uh, examples related to which we have discussed. Sir, so, uh, there, can you check that practice assignment question one? Practice assignment? Question one. First question. Uh, one second, let me open. Uh, week 12, right? Week 12, yeah. Mm -hmm. Practice assignment. A lot of values given to us. Yeah. So here the given variance is which variance? Please explain. Okay, okay. A random sample of four fibers manufactured using process A. As in centimeter and the standard is a random sample of fifty fibers Yeah, it's uh for your uh, Original distribution, right? Both are see, sample, right? Both are no, sample. No, no. See, what is what is your x one to x n? Bo here, both are sample, right? Okay, okay. Tell me. 
what is your x1 to uh, okay one <laughs> okay i think you got confused see suppose x1 to xn1 i'm saying it's a normal v1 comma c1 square okay okay so this information is given this 40 fibers is following normal i think it's, i think it's normal or something other normal normal some, okay so it is it's got mean and the standard deviation okay. is given so mean of this thing is uh let's say it's a 16.7 and 0. 16.7 so yeah. and 0. 0.5 this is square correct. right correct correct okay similarly correct. y1 to y1 is normal and some that information suppose in correct. the question it is given like that has mm. a mean of 16.7 centimeter and standard deviation is sigma then you will use the two sample t test i think that uh, has not been discussed in this course no the, this one this is the sample dv variations only is given right ha huh, so it will be it will be, given. It will be. See, but the procedure followed is the same uh, two sample z test two sample z test yes See, so yeah. it See. doesn't matter whether it is uh, actual distribution variance or sample variance See, no no what what's the meaning of distribution and sample variance okay suppose this is directly given to for the 40 fibers okay but hmm. there is manipulation in the question uh, suppose values of 40 fibers is given to you okay and it hmm. says uh, with unknown standard deviation sigma sigma one centimeter then you have to compute the sample variance from the observations hmm. okay are you getting see, see no see. what okay in the, in the, okay. In the uh, z test two sample z test uh, uh, explanation mm -hmm. we saw the the variance is known yeah distribution variance is known See. But here in this question, this uh, sample variance only is known. Okay, okay, okay. I think you got. Uh, okay, so what is the mean? Okay, and that thing uh, that is the confusion about uh, terminology. See, distribution variance. Um, see what? Okay. You are collecting one sample, okay, and then some that sample is x1 to x40, and this sample is following some. Let's say I'm saying it's the IID X. Okay, let's say. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What is the meaning of this x is something normal with 16.7 and 0.5 square. This is the meaning. Hmm. Okay. So this is the information about your distribution. This. Okay. okay. It's not like, uh, see, values of uh, your first fiber is given, let's say 20 uh, centimeters, then 13 centimeter, 14 centimeter, let's say x40, let's say 15 centimeter. Then I'm saying uh, it's a follow normal with the mean 16.7 and uh, with the variance sigma square. Okay. Then you have to compute the S square from the sample. But okay. initially it says for the, the samples you are collecting, let's say it's IIDX. This X is something uh, mean length is 16.7 and standard deviation is. Now it is clear. Are you getting? Mm, not so clear, sir. Okay, I mean, where you are confused, uh, getting the confused. See, no, okay, 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 come to, come to this. I am confused because in mm -hmm. the explanation of the two sample Z test, mm -hmm. it is mentioned sigma 1 and sigma 2 okay. are distribution variance. Okay, one second, one second. Suppose I'm saying the question, one. sample variance only is given and we follow the same procedure. So it means for both the distribution and sample variance can be considered. Okay, okay, one second. Suppose I'm saying I'm collecting the sample x1, x2, xn is no, uh, iid x. Yes. Okay. This is the my this is the my original. Right. Okay. Okay. Can you write the distribution uh, for the t uh, two sample t test? Is okay. There, okay. I will. Okay. I will write. I will write. That's not in the course, but I will uh, tell you. Okay. Let me okay. complete this first. Okay. Suppose this is the information about about my original. What yeah. I'm saying. This is okay. This is the x. Now I'm uh, collecting the another sample, which is again IIDY, correct? But I'm saying this X is normal 16.7 comma 0.5 square. Okay. Right. So, so this sample is from this one. No, in that case, it is distribution, right? 16.7, 0 0.5 is not sample result. It is distribution result. That's it. That's it. Saying in the okay. question, right? See, Result see. of the sample or distribution? See, see. What is the question? Is saying a random samples of forty fibers manufactured hmm. using process A, okay, 
that mm. uh, has the mean length of 16.7 cm so 16.7 is for sample or it is the distribution it's for the distribution right i think this is for the sample because both the sample will follow single distribution right that is what is mm -hmm. hypothesis mm -hmm. but now we I have 16.7 for one sample 16.4 for the other sample so these are sample data so it will follow some other distribution which may be 16.5 or 16.6 or whatever yeah yeah oh, okay okay got yeah yeah sorry 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 yeah correct correct see that's the uh, 16.7 yeah okay 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 it's a mu1 comma 0.5 square actually correct correct correct, correct. not uh, th this is the x bar yeah sorry sorry because when you uh, i will test this x bar minus y bar i'm consider this 16.7 minus 16.4 okay? correct yeah so it yeah yeah sorry so sorry. here x is given and sx square is given not sx it's a sigma As, this is sx square right no, no, because no. this is also for the sample 40 samples this variance of the 40 samples no, if it's see, 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 that's that's the I want to clarify here. It is given uh, 40 sample as a mean length and standard deviation of 0.5. So it is the sample variance and it is a sample mean. Okay, okay. I think uh, you are considering like this. Okay, so that's the uh, okay also. But okay, try to understand here. So what I'm saying, I'm saying x1, x2, xn. Let's say it's a uh, iid whatever it has mean let's say mu1 okay yeah. and it's saying it's, see see sigma for this is given to me one is one is one is one is this scenario okay for this iid sample sigma square is given to me in the uh, question itself okay so i'm considering yeah. this is sigma square okay now if i'm saying for the x1 x2 xn let's say this is iid i don't know the sigma suppose this is unknown Hmm. Okay, try to understand that. So this sigma, I will estimate with the help of S square from the sample observation. Hmm. Okay, then yeah. observations will be given to you, not the sigma square. Correct. Are you getting? Are you uh, getting the idea? See. Yeah. Now come to the. I think I saw one example here. Now come to this example. Here it's not like a. Uh, brand a standard deviation is given to you standard deviation for brand b is not right here some observations is given to you right it's not yeah. gi uh, given information about sigma square right yeah but this then, is for the f test okay okay forget about it okay so just consider this is the values of uh, some fi fiber c right so how many observations three this is four ten okay ten let's say these are, these are the ten observations for the fibers Right. For the fibers of type A, this fibers of type B, and I'm saying mean is uh, mu one, and I don't have information about sigma. Correct. I don't know about sigma. Then I will use the S X square, S Y square. Correct. I, I will compute the S X square, S Y square. But uh, what was the meaning of distribution mean? Uh, means for this uh, forty fibers, mean was given to me, X uh, uh, X S bar, and variance was given to me. Variance is sample variance again. That's what I mean to say, because the second sample has got different sample variants. Okay, okay, you are talking. Okay, okay, you are talking. but uh, see, at the end, the second sample is um, uh, it's also different. As, so, yeah, I'm uh, collecting as independent, right? Correct. So this is sixty fibers with having different mean and different different, mean, different variances. So both okay. are sample mean and bo both are sample variants. Uh, actually, I think. Uh, I think you are uh, okay. You are treating in, in sigma in square as one. Uh -huh. In case of a uh, distribution, you will have only a single mean and single. No, no. Uh, see, variant, see, right? Okay. For both the no, no. One second. Excuse me, sir. Uh, it may be like this. See, I have collected the x one to x n from the different sample, right? Correct. That for that uh, mean and variance can also vary. And yeah. y one to y one also yeah. can vary. It can be Correct. same also, right? But now, now coming back to that t test uh, distribution formula, mm -hmm. what is the formula we write for that? Uh, I mean, sorry, z test, two two sample test. Okay, we write for x, two. okay, for x, two sample. X, x minus y, right? X bar minus y bar, right? Eh? X bar minus y bar. Mm -hmm. Then what do we write there? Actually, we write the. See, see, basically, okay, okay. I think uh, you. 
when we write okay, 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 this, okay, this thing is clear or not this yeah, is, it is clear. clear it is clear it is clear okay let me clarify one more one more time suppose i'm saying this is uh whatever i id let's say it's a normal uh some mu one is given to me okay and uh, let's mm. say sigma one square so this value is given to me means this is the s1 which is the sigma one square hat okay this okay. value was given to me let's say it's a 0. 0.5 right right okay okay that's that's you are correct this is the for the that 40 fibers uh, fibers or fabric what was i mean what was yeah, fibers. Right? let's say for fibers so this is the for 40 uh, standard deviation of 40 fibers yeah you are right thanks okay. for correcting me so this is nothing but okay that's why see if you remember what is this this means i can estimate the sigma square from the sample right right okay right? Okay. okay the this thing is this information is given to me for this case so y1 is y2 yn is normal uh, so x bar was 16.7 and the y bar is 16.4 and what was the variance 0 0.6 0.6 so s2 is 0 0.6 which is nothing but sigma 2 cap sometimes right. this is not given us to directly we have to given the observations then okay. we have to compute the calculate it. we right. have to calculate separately in those scenario uh, we are going to use the t test okay, okay. now it is clear 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 yeah yes. now what yes. okay so based on the one sample can you tell me what should be the t test for the two sample anybody t test for the two 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 test i mean uh, two sample sorry i didn't get your question okay okay see in one once for the one sample what we have do uh, what we have done x bar minus mu divided by s by root n right uh, yeah yeah t n minus right for the two sample what it will be i mean it's not in the course but i'm just giving you the idea uh, let's say x minus y x x minus y right x minus y minus mu1 minus mu2 by the standard deviation so it will be x bar minus y bar and uh, we will consider mu1 minus mu2 it is zero divided by uh, it's a Stand, so standard square deviation. root of i can do s square 1 upon n1 plus 1 upon n2 yes yes okay this will follow t n1 plus n2 minus one. it uh, is not one uh, minus two it follows f right sorry sorry it no, follows t. no z z no no when when i it's a, i'm using s i don't have information about sigma okay 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 if i have information about sigma then i will use x bar minus y bar divided by that uh, square root of sigma one square divided by n one plus sigma two square by n two it will follow g okay okay clear because i have information about sigma i mean key uh, difference is clear to all of you right in t also you have to you can have two parameters actually yeah 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 but in this course it's not there we have 40 it's a form one sample right but okay. uh, you can write for the two also right this is same right under right. h not it will be zero okay clear for all of you anybody so far any doubt okay so there are some questions uh, okay so i will just uh, go through it okay if you have doubt, then I will uh, write the things. I mean, I will just explain because there are some numerical calculations. So tell me, uh, see, here x is follow normal mu comma sigma square with unknown sigma. Then which test statistic, statistics we have to use? T test. T test? Mm, T test. Correct? We'll use sample variance. Yeah, T test. T test, right? It's the clearly mentioned we don't have information about sigma, right? Yes. And it says X bar is 10 minus 2 and the standard deviation is 3. I mean, here observations are not given. It's clearly given that S is 3. So S square will be 9. What right. is the hypothesis? 9.5 and alternative is greater than 9.5, right? So it's greater than 9 point. So what will be my test? I will test, I will reject my H0 when X bar is greater than c correct yes so okay so what is the alpha alpha will be probability of x bar is greater than c given h naught so now we have to form uh, we have to uh, convert in form the test uh, t test what is that 
x bar minus mu divided by s by root n followed t n minus 1 right so x bar minus mu mu is 9.5 divided by s is 3 by root n greater than c minus 9 i mean we have to do for the both uh, side so this will be t of 15 why 15 because n is 16 so it's followed t n minus 1 right yes. so from here i will get probability of t is 15 t 15 is greater than c uh, minus 9.5 divided by 3 by 4 so after that i will get this cdf value and uh, this value will be provided to you okay so as for the test uh, if x bar is greater than c then i will reject but here x bar is 10.2 but c is 10.81 okay so my x bar is less than c so i will accept h i mean procedure is the same as we have done in in vkm right yes okay you got the idea now the question is the same but uh, key difference is there uh, in that scenario my hypothesis for the mean but here my hypothesis is for the uh, variance i mean about the uh, standard deviation right so i mean everyone is getting the idea i mean every, is the pace uh, is okay or uh, if you if you are facing uh, difficulty at, at any step just uh, let me know okay if you want then i can write the things but uh, i mean it's uh, if you are getting the idea, then I will just uh, go through the sessions. Okay. So we are getting the idea. It's just like things will become more easier when we practice. Like when we. Yes, yes. See, practice you have to do. I mean, there is no alternate uh, way for. So can you, you write in the assignments in... and solving and solving, seeing the notes? Uh, mm hmm. So that helps but yeah, yeah. without notes i'm not able to solve that and uh, don't worry about the this formulas and all things formulas will be provided to you sir can you write in terms of uh, like a table for all the four five tests four five tests i mean you are yes, uh, you are i mean you want to the all the collect formula collectively huh? when to use which tests sir like briefly if you can summarize Okay, okay. So, no need to discuss the examples. I think if we understand the table and then we can maybe do some examples. So, there's a table in the notes, right? Where? Yeah. In, the, in the notes, like uh, the formula file for final exam. Okay, you heard that thing? Think so. In the notes section, it was there. Sorry, quiz 2. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you want to write the okay. Let me write down the things. On that. Hope uh, you will understand my writing actually. Okay, so you want uh, different scenarios. Okay, all the formulas. That's all, huh? I mean, with the test also. Hello. Yes. Along, yes. along yes, with yes. the test yeah, yeah. or uh, test. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Okay. 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 Just. Uh, okay. So see. Suppose I'm saying x1, x2, so on xn, okay? This is iid, let's say, normal distribution, mu comma sigma square. So what is this? This is one sample or two sample? One sample. One sample. One sample. So I'm not writing the formula of x bar and uh, sample variance, okay? So I will write down the, on the test uh, statistics. So, okay. So, what will be the x bar? Sir, your mu and sigma square are distribution. Yeah, yeah, it's a distribution. Okay. Okay. What will be this one, right? No, for this sample, suppose I'm saying this is known. Okay. Suppose test statistic is H0 is mu equal to mu naught and alternative is mu is greater than mu naught or less than mu naught so what will be the test i will reject my h naught if x bar is greater than some constant right or if his mu is less than mu naught then it will be x bar is less than c so far so good yeah now 
so i'm writing here or if uh, mu is not equal to mu not then what it will be the mod of x bar minus mu is greater than c, c. correct so far so good for everyone now how will you proceed suppose alpha is the probability of reject h not when h not is true correct so what is the re rejection region x bar is greater than c under h not right since sigma is known to me so what it will be i it will be standard normal variance so x bar minus mu divided by what sigma square by n so sigma by root n greater than c minus mu divided by sigma by root n or not yes yes sir. so either it's the yes, mu sir. or mu not this is mu not mu not mu not okay yes, so no one is correcting me here <laughs> Okay, so what it will be? It will be G. Correct. Yes. Okay. So now it will be uh, one minus probability of G is uh, less than than equal to C minus mu naught sigma by root n. So sometimes alpha is given to you or uh, C is going to. Uh, okay. Let me tell you. If C is given to me, okay, then I can compute the value of alpha, right? It will be okay. one minus f g uh, c minus mu naught divided by sigma by root n, right? Correct. Correct. Now suppose I am saying we have to compute the c. Then what it it will be? It will be one minus alpha equal to f g c minus mu naught divided by sigma by root n, right? Correct. So, Sir, f c inverse isn't it? F c inverse. No, it's a f g, right? It is not. Not taken to the other side. Yeah. Okay, will, okay. Okay. Yes, so yes. now it will be c minus mu naught sigma by root n. If I will take other side, it will be f g inverse one minus alpha. If alpha is five percent, so it will be f g inverse zero point nine five, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so okay. So from here I can compute the value of c, right? So c minus mu naught will be sigma by root n f g inverse one minus alpha. So C will be mu naught plus sigma by root n uh, f g inverse one minus alpha. Okay. From here you can compute the C, or else uh, sometimes C is already given in the question. I mean, for which scenario you have to reject? Then uh, alpha is uh, alpha is asked to. I mean, alpha, uh, you have been asked what, what is the value of alpha? Then uh, you can directly. I mean, compute from here itself, right? And don't worry about the values of f g and f g inverse. This will be provided in the question. Okay. Now, this was for the one sample. Now, suppose I'm saying uh, I have x one, x two, so on, x n. It is follow uh, distribution with mean mu and sigma square, and I'm saying this is unknown. Okay. Unknown means are uh, saying uh, you don't know the original uh, mean of the original distribution kind of thing, right? It's not given to you. That means you have to compute, you have to uh, compute the from the with the help of sample observations, right? Right or not? Yes, yes. Okay. So what will be the test statistics? Let's say, uh, I mean, uh, hypothesis first. It will be mu is equal to mu naught. Alternative. You can consider mu is greater than mu not mu mu not equal to mu not or mu is less than mu not. So accordingly, my test will be. I will reject my h not if uh, t I mean t is x bar is greater than c, right? So far so good. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, what is the alpha? No, no. Before this, what is the test uh, statistic will be? So test statistic will be x bar minus mu divided by s by root n. Correct. See, this is same as uh, normal sample. Only difference is I don't have uh, information about sigma square. Correct? So this is sample uh, standard deviation. This is sample standard deviation. I mean, this will you you will compute from the sample observations, okay? Like this. See, suppose uh, there was one question. I think uh, 
okay so, yeah yeah correct correct like this suppose uh, this sample observation is given to you but you don't have uh, information about uh, sigma right so you have to compute the sample variance from this observations it is clear yes clear for everyone or any doubt clear sir clear clear no. sir so it will be this so now i have to compute the alpha alpha is the, what is the alpha see i have just done for the alpha you can do for the treat for the beta also right beta or power of the test right so under h not so alpha what is my test uh, it is x bar is greater than some constant under h not so tell me what should be the next step tell me anybody standardize x bar minus mu not x bar minus mu not divided by by standard s by rho tan okay this is greater than c minus mu hmm. not s by root n this this thing is clear to everyone so it yes, will be sir. t yes, n minus 1 right yes, yeah correct yes so what i can write on the 1 minus probability of t n minus 1 less than or equal to c minus mu not divided by s by root n right yes correct now from here i can compute the value of alpha directly right Suppose yes. f uh, t n minus one is given to me, c minus mu not s by root n. Right now, if I want to compute the value of c, suppose alpha is given to me, then what I have to do? F t n minus one, c minus mu not s by root n. This is equal to one minus alpha, right? Yeah. So what will be the next step? So c minus mu not s by root n. Equal to f t n minus one inverse right of one minus alpha. So from here I can compute the value of c right. Mu not. So this plus... inverse will be given. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the values. It will be given to you. Clear? Yes, yes. Okay. Now for this one sample, <laughs> suppose so far we have tested for the mean. Okay, this is the test for the mean, right? And yes, this sir. was also test for the mean, correct? Now, what about test for the sample? Uh, test for the variance? What is the test statistics for this? For that, n minus one s square divided by sigma square is what? Chi square with n minus one, right? So I have null hypothesis as what will be the null hypothesis? Any one of you? Sigma sigma equal to sigma not. Some sigma not, right? And what will be the alternative? You can take anything. Right? Sigma sigma not. Alternate is let's say sigma sigma. So what will be the test? Okay, so this is this things you wanted to know, right? I mean, you are saying write down in a single table. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So what will the okay? So since here, what is the uh, sam, uh, sam, uh, statistics we have? We have only sample variance, right? Else of things will rest of the things will be provided to uh, you and and sigma, right? So what will be the test? Reject H not when S square is greater than C square, or else you can say S is greater than C. Both is the okay, okay. But uh, as we have done for the C, just take it as C is greater than C, okay. So what under H not? Under H not, how how I will convert? I will convert n minus one S square divided by sigma not square. I will convert as n minus one, right? It will follow n minus one. Now. Alpha is probability. What is the reject uh, condition for rejecting my null hypothesis? S is greater than C. S is greater than C. You can take the S square is greater than C square also, but uh, we have to take the C a lot of times, so it's uh, good to take. 
uh, at the end we have to convert as a s square because uh, we have to convert the things in form of the chi square right we have to take we have to convert like uh, in in this form right so what it will be i can write down the s square is greater than c square correct or not the same thing i can multiply n minus 1 s square correct this is okay now what we have to do next step n minus 1 s square divided by sigma not square greater than n minus 1 c square divided by sigma not square correct so i can write down the okay what is this this is this will become chi square n minus 1 n minus 1 greater than n minus 1 c square divided by sigma not square right so what will be the next step 1 minus probability chi square n minus 1 Less than or equal to n minus one c square divided by sigma not square, right? So far so good. Yes, sir. So one minus f chi square n minus one n minus one c square divided by sigma not square, right? Now from here you can compute the value of alpha if c is given. Okay. Suppose alpha is given and uh, question is about to find out the value of c, then what you, you will do? I will do f chi square n minus one. n minus 1 c square sigma not square will be 1 minus alpha right so it will be uh, n minus 1 times c square sigma not square equal to f chi square n minus 1 inverse 1 minus alpha right i mean are you getting this one okay suppose uh, in the question it is given that f chi square 15 let's say 2.25 is 0.93 anything then can you compute the f inverse here by taking 2. f inverse 2. on both sides yeah so f uh, chi square inverse 0.93 will be 2.25 like this okay I mean just it's a random value not a correct one okay so you got the idea if uh, how you can... like taking f inverse on both sides ha huh. yes, yes 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 so from here what so f inverse of x will be x uh, sorry Yes, f inverse of f x would be x. So this thing, yeah, yeah. So what will the value of c square from here? Sigma not square divided by n minus one f chi square n minus one inverse one minus alpha, right? So this so far it is clear to all of you. Yes. So for one sample, it is clear. Yes. 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 Sir. Okay. Now. So, do I need to for the two samples also, or <laughs> okay? Let's do. Let's do. Okay. So let's do. I think after that, I think uh, you can do the examples if I'm not uh, uh, wrong. I think okay. Was uh, the same procedure we have done. Okay, so I will go through it. Okay, like okay. Let me do this. So you can solve one. so two samples test okay now so for the two samples so situation is let's say x1 x2 so on x and one it's a let's say it's a, all are iid normal with the mu1 comma sigma1 square now uh, y1 y2 so on y and two these all are iid normal mu2 comma sigma2 square okay now tell me what will be the x bar this thing yes sir and what will be the y bar correct okay. now since uh, we are considering the two sample test now see uh, don't worry about the uh, t test for the two sample okay that's not in this course i think but uh, you can use you can do the for the same as which we have done for the in case of one sample case okay now so tell me what will be the distribution of x bar minus y bar mu1 minus mu2 comma sigma1 square divided by n1 plus sigma2 square by n2 right now let's define the null hypothesis so null hypothesis you are considering the mean for the both samples mean of the two sample is equal 
and alternative is we are considering not equal correct now sir here only the mean will be equal right the uh, variance yes, mean not, variance no, no. need not be equal no no because variance is already given to me correct See, for testing the mean of the samples i am using the normal test and t test correct so i don't have to bother about the variance Yes. Here the X, X, X IID and Y IIDs are having different variants, basically. Yeah, different variants because these are two the two different uh, samples, right? It may be same. No, it follows a different distribution variance. Can no, we no. consider that or? No, no. See, these okay, these uh, samples may have some mean, may have some variance, may have right. some mean, so, may have some variance, right? Correct. So we are comparing whether only whether the mean is equal. Yes. Suppose it, see, it may the variance may be different. May be different. May be same also. See. Yeah. Suppose, it could be same okay. okay. Suppose it's the same, but I want to test for the mean only. Then I will use the normal. That's all. Right. Right. Okay. If I want to test for the variance, then I will go for the F test. Yes. Yes. Clear. Yeah? Yes, yes. This value or estimate of this value will be given to you in the question as uh, we have done. I mean, we have discussed a few slides before, right? Some 0 0.5 centimeter was given to you. Else, uh, observations will be given to you. I mean, samples will be given to you. You have to compute from the sample. Right, right. Right? Now, yes. So, what will the test? Test will be I will reject my null hypothesis if, if what? mod of x bar minus y bar will be should be greater than some constant right yes it is clear i mean you can do y bar y bar minus x bar also both are okay no need to worry about this okay so tell me okay so can i treat write this as sigma t for the simplicity let's say sigma t square now what is the alpha reject h naught under H naught. I mean, given that null hypothesis is true. So when I will reject H naught, X bar minus Y bar is greater than some constant. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So now I have to make these things as the standard normal. So X bar minus Y bar minus mu1 minus mu2. Okay. Take the mod for all. Uh, or in the numerator also, no need to worry about that because at all it's it's going to become uh, standard normal. So what is the variance? Uh, I mean, so it's a sigma t, right? Yeah. Right. Greater than c minus mu one minus mu two divided by sigma t, right? Right. So under h naught, what I'm saying, mu one is equal to mu two. That means this will become zero. Yes, sir. Okay. So it will be probability of mod of G greater than C divided by sigma T, correct? Correct. So alpha is probability mod of G greater than C by sigma T. Now tell me, this is the G is the standard normal here, right? Right. Right. Okay, this is the standard normal. Symmetricity around the zero, right? Now, can I write this thing? Probability of G is greater than C by sigma T. Uh, and uh, plus probability of g is less than minus c by sigma t. Yes, yes. Correct. Now, so, so this is the minus c by sigma t, and yeah. this is the c by sigma t, right? Yes. Since it's a symmetric on both sides, then uh, can I? Uh, so this is equal to g is less than minus c by sigma t. Correct. Yes. Yes, sir. So it will be uh, alpha will be uh, two times probability of z is less than minus c by sigma t. Uh, so alpha by two is equal to probability g is less than minus c by sigma t. C. Now here uh, is alpha by two is equal to one side, right? Yes, yes. You can write down there like this: g is greater than c by sigma t. Are you getting? This is the alpha by two. This is the alpha by two. This will um, combinedly make the alpha, right? The same thing we have done for the app test case, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So don't go this. I mean, just I just given the hint. So here, uh, from here I can compute the value of f. 
this is alpha by 2 this is the fg minus c by sigma t right if this is given to me then i can compute the value of alpha suppose alpha is given to you and you have been asked about the value of c then what it will be it will be fg inverse alpha by 2 minus c by sigma t right so yes, from sir. here it will be uh, uh, minus c will be sigma t times fg inverse alpha by 2 so c will be uh, minus sigma t fg inverse alpha by 2 what is this sigma t so this is nothing but the square root of sigma 1 square divided by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 right yes sir. Okay. this is the something this minus. is clear oh, yeah yeah minus minus it is clear clear sir clear now come to the uh, see t test for the i mean we are not uh, 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 studying the t test for two samples but you can do the same things uh, only thing is uh, sigma 1 square will be replaced by the sample variances okay so i'm going to do for the variance test of the where see so far we have done two sample test for the mean here I will do two sample test for the variances, right? Hey, everyone is getting my this uh, wording and writing. Yes, sir. Hmm? So two sample mean for test for mean is using Z test. Yeah, yeah. Because see, to test the mean, we are using the Z test or T test, right? Hmm. For the variance. For the one sample, we are going to use chi square. If it's two sample, then it will be F test. Okay. See why F test? See, suppose uh, as I has uh, told you, if x1, x2, x n1 was what? I i d normal mu one comma sigma one square by n one. It was right. And y one, y two, so on. Y n two was I i d normal mu2 comma sigma2 square n2 right now you know for the one sample this is follow chi square with n minus 1 right this is we have done correct yes yes okay now so this is we have done for what when i was my alternative was sigma was uh, equal to sigma naught right that was the my uh, hypothesis right for the two sample what will be the my hypothesis? Sigma 1 equal to sigma 2. And alternative will be what? Anybody? Sigma 1 greater than by, sigma. by sigma 2 is greater than some. So it's a greater than or not equal to? Not equal to, right? Since in your course, it's uh, not equal to is there for the two samples, okay? Not equal to. Yeah. So now tell me, what will be your test? I will reject Sir, my... In the formula file, we have like alternative, we have three cases. So I found that uh, we have the this table. Yeah, yeah, for every, see, for every, see, uh, here I'm writing the whole things, but in the formula set, uh, see, what is the test? For every distribution and for every kind of alternative, uh, you have been provided the test statistic. You have been provided the test also. I mean, which test you can use, which test you cannot use like this. Okay? Okay, sir. Yeah. So, there is concept, uh, concept of a test. Means, uh, Sx square divided by Sy square is follow F n1 minus 1 comma n2 minus 1. Okay? So I'm not deri deriving it again. Okay, so do I need to derive and uh, or is you got the from the previous? So, you have already covered it. So got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, uh, how we have done or uh, should I derive here? We got it. Got it. The got ratio it. of the chi square. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So. Since I'm testing the for the sample, by, uh, I mean, we are doing the testing for the variances. So what will be my test? Uh, test? I will reject my H0 if my test is what? This is the my test T. It will be some greater than some constant. So it's a greater than some constant or a uh, uh, was? 
not equal to correct no 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 see your f distribution is not symmetric with one right yeah yes okay so there is some upper uh, uh, limit right different limits different Both. limits this is the one minus cl right so when i will reject h not what is, is c, hmm? what is c it's a just it's a just a value see what we have done so far in the normal and all things we have some constant okay we had some constant i mean i will reject my h not which if uh, uh, x bar is greater than c or less than c right some value okay in the f distribution thing is that it is not symmetric around one okay so suppose uh, i will reject my h not when this is greater than this value right and less than this value okay so cn and cr may may not be same yeah okay so i will reject my h not when t is greater than this upper limit or t is less than lower one limit. minus c okay now see uh if h not is true under h not what what, uh, what it, uh, will be how will how how i will compute so what will be the alpha by 2 probability that how uh, what should i write here t is greater than 1 plus cr under h not this is same as probability t is less than 1 minus cl under h not right yes sir correct see this see this is the alpha by 2 this green uh, green region alpha by 2 this will combinely make the alpha right the same thing we have done for the normal if you remember here see alpha by 2 is the equal to probability g is less than minus c by t this is the same as probability g is greater than c by t c by sigma t right are you getting idea right right yes. but here it was symmetric but in the f test it it is not symmetric so there is that this gap 1 plus cr and 1 minus cr so i will reject h not when uh, i mean i can write down the alpha by 2 uh so this is the my rejection region so i will it will be probability of t is greater than 1 plus cr given h not this is same as uh, i can consider probability of t is less than 1 minus cr given h not. clear this is clear to all of you yes sir yes okay so i think after this uh, examples are there so now formula is clear funda is clear to all of you procedure is same yes yes so keep in sure. your mind the scenario that's all in which scenario you are going to use this kind of test statistics okay so i will just uh, go through the examples okay quickly now uh more problems uh, okay. okay which kind of example do you want let's say this one okay now as you can see here i'm saying normal mu1 comma 3 see here 3 is given to me right 4 is given to me It is clear. We are saying n1 is 16 and n2 is 8, correct? And sample means this is x bar, this is the y bar. So this I will use at the end when I will going to x bar minus y bar at the end, right? This should be greater than some c, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Are you getting? I mean, I am not writing. If you want, then I can write down the things. But every steps is in uh, written here so what is the my hypothesis is mu1 is equal to mu2 mu1 is not equal to mu2 correct so what kind of test i have to use i have to use x bar minus y bar mu1 minus mu2 comma sigma1 square divided by n1 plus sigma2 square by 2 n2 right yes correct? yes so sigma1 square is 3 by 16 plus sigma2 square by uh, uh, n2 is 8 right are you getting now i will reject h not when mod of t is greater than c so here mod of t is x bar minus y bar is greater than c are you getting c what we have to do this is the formula okay the same thing has been done here right so uh just a minute so what is this so x1 to xn for the x for the first sample was normal mu1 comma 3 right 
second sample was mu2 comma 4 4 what was the number of sample for this 16 if i am not wrong just tell me the values okay now since it is a two sample test correct this is the given to us in the question itself right so far so good hello yes sir yes okay now tell me what is the x bar it will follow mu1 comma sigma square by n1 so 3 by 16 correct and what will correct. be the pi bar mu2 comma 4 by 8 right okay. so far so good see we have done here right in the theory point of view x bar is mu1 comma sigma square by n1 so sigma square sigma1 square is 3 n1 is given to us as 16 sigma2 square is the 4 and 2 is, is given to us 8 right I mean, are you able to relate or? Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the same thing we have to do. Same. You see, procedure is same for every distribution. So tell me, what will be the distribution of x bar minus y bar? It will be normal. Mu one minus mu two. Three by sixteen plus four by eight. Right. Now, this is the this is the hypothesis. What is the test? I will. Reject H not if mod of X bar, X bar minus y yes minus. greater than C. You can treat as this a T also. No need to worry about. Now what is the alpha? Reject H not under H not. I mean null hypothesis is true. So what is the okay? So mod of X bar minus Y bar greater than C, right? Okay. So can I directly write down this is a G mod of G? Yes. So what will be on the left hand side? C minus mu one minus mu two divided by square root of this one, right? Sigma t, right? So square root of three by sixteen plus four by eight. Since under H naught it will be zero, because uh, null hypothesis mu one is equal to mu two, right? So it will be probability of g is greater than C by this value, and it will be probability uh, two times probability. G is less than minus C by this value, right? Yes. The same thing. This yes. is something in eleven by square root of eleven by sixteen. So you will get the value of one point six two five. Now, what is my test? See, I got after solving, I got C as one point six two five, right? X bar is given to me in the question. What is that? Uh, it's a ten point two and eight point two, right? So X bar is ten point two. And y bar is 8.2. Uh, what yes. was the my test? Test was I will yes. reject my H not if mod of x bar minus y bar will be greater than C. Then I will reject, right? So here, what is the mod of x bar? So 10.2 minus 8.2. This is 2. Two. And what is the C? 1.625. But this is the less, right? So greater. Two is greater than. Two is greater. Okay. okay. Uh, two is greater than. C. So two is greater than C. So my x bar minus y bar is greater than C. So I will reject, reject. my h not. Means I will say uh, uh, mean of both samples is not equal. I mean my final conclusion will be uh, about uh, both the samples. Mean of the both the sample are not equal or is not equal. Okay. Is it clear? Are you, uh, did you get the idea? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. The same thing for the variance also. So should I do or uh, procedure is same? You have to just apply the formula. I mean, if you want, then I can do also. Okay. So let me let me do this for the variance also. After that, uh, uh, we'll proceed. Okay. Is that be okay? Will that be okay? Yes sir. Okay. See. In this case, if you see in the previous example, sigma one square was given, but here we have not information, right? So, as but uh, what is the hypothesis? Sigma one is equal to sigma two, and sigma one, uh, one is not equal to sigma two, right? 
is it okay yes sir yes sir okay so what is the alpha by 2 alpha by 2 uh, see here you can see see n1 is the greater than right yeah n1 is the 30 right so okay, okay let me let me write down the things okay so what was the test test was I will reject my H naught if T, which is SX square divided by SY square is less than 1 minus CL or T is greater than 1 plus CR, right? Now, SX square is given to me, SY square is given to me. As I know, alpha by 2 is what? Probability of 1 minus, I mean, uh, T is less than 1 minus CL under H naught, right? Is it clear uh, or any doubt in this one? Yes, sir. Clear, clear. Yeah. Now, so tell me what uh, what will be the next thing? Both the probabilities are same, sir. Yeah, yeah, both the same. T less than one minus CL and greater yeah, than one. That's, that's the same thing we have discussed, right? This is one minus CL and one plus CL. Okay. Now. No, sir. The probabilities are equal. Yeah, that's the equation, right? That's the same thing. Okay. Sir. Okay. So what it will be? It will be uh, F uh, not G. It will be uh, CDF of. I will write F. Uh, so okay. So so it should follow the F distribution with n1 minus one comma n2 minus one, right? So how how what is the value of n1? Thirty. It will be twenty nine. And what? Twenty four. Twenty four, right? So it will be F twenty nine comma twenty four, one minus CL, right? Correct? Yes. Yes. So yes. it will be uh, can I write these things? One minus CL is equal to F. I mean, this F means CDF. This F means CDF of F distribution, right? Inverse alpha by two. Can I write this? Yes. Yes. So one, I I will get the value of one minus CL from here, right? Some value. Correct. Okay. Correct. So you can get the value of one plus CR and all things. So. Yeah, so you can do for the 1 plus CR also. So suppose 1 plus CR is 2.217. Okay. So 1 plus CR is 2.217. Okay. Now, but uh, what is the value of SX square? SX square is 11.4 divided by 5.1. Okay. As you can see, so value of 11.4 divided by 5.1 is 2.235, right? So this is the value of t that means this one right so here t is greater than 1 plus cr because one value of 1 plus cr is 2.217 right yes yes are you getting everyone so that is what i will reject my h naught yes the same thing you can proceed with the 1 minus cl also okay is this clear for everyone Yes. Sir. Okay. Now, since uh, so far we had given information, right? Now, come to this question. What is the okay? Now here, uh, hypothesis is directly not given to me. Okay, but it's a uh, given in something in kind of statement. So, what is the statement? Average annual salary of an entry level data scientist is reported to be 8 lakhs per annum. Which my hypothesis is saying I'm considering is 8 lakh per annum. Correct? See, this kind of question is you can treat as uh, important because uh, some this kind of question may be in your interim exam is some question is given to you, you have to identify the hypothesis actually. Now so I'm saying average annual salary of entry level data scientist is reported to be 8 lakhs per annum. So my hypothesis will be what? I'm saying this is reported, correct? Now, you suspect that this seems too high. I mean, you have suspected this is too high. Then what you have to test? It's probably it's less. Than, it's less than, right? See, if you suspect it too high, then you will go for the, uh, you will say, like, le let me test for the less than. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, and suppose I'm saying you suspect this is too low, then what will be the alternative? Greater than. Greater than it. Correct. 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 Be clear with this one. Okay. Now, 
and make the inquiries with 10 such person and find their annual salaries are this okay now be clear with in the previous examples we had given the mu we had given the sigma square and all things but here we have given the sample observations not the information about direct distribution are you getting everyone mohan raj now, now you are getting here we don't have information about the sigma and all things right correct correct so here we have information about only sample observation i don't have information about original distribution that means i will go for the t test yes sir okay here sigma square is unknown to me i will compute the sample variance from this sample observations right yes sir. this is clear is this clear for everyone Single test is clear for me. Only the double test. Okay, so I don't know. worry about T test for the double. It's not in this foundation. No, no, only to differentiate the question. I'm not able to. Uh, hmm? After this, maybe you try to solve that question. First question of practice assignment and show how to solve. Okay, okay, I will, I will solve. I will solve. Okay. okay, now this is clear. Now, what in T test? What we have to find out? We have to find out x bar minus mu. Uh, divide by s by root n right so x bar i can find out from here itself right yes yes right what is the mu mu is the a and s i mean sample variance or sample standardization i can compute from the sample observation with the formula one upon n minus one summation xi minus x bar is square, right correct from here i can compute yes, right? and after that you can proceed for the Okay, if mu is less than eight, then what will be your test? Test will be reject H naught if x bar is less than C, right? So you can proceed. Okay, I mean, now rest of the procedure you can do. Yes, yes. Okay, like that. See, x bar is the seven point eight six. You can compute from here. It is greater than your C, so it is. I mean, I will accept H naught because rejection I will reject if x bar is less than C. Yes. Yes. The same thing you can do. Now, here I have to compute, uh, I have to test for the sample variance, right? Now, here uh, I, uh, I don't I, see. Sample variance is not given to directly, right? See, the weight of cooking gas cylinder is reported to have a standard deviation of 500 gram. That means, so you can convert in uh, kilogram also because See, be clear with the unit because uh, the observations are in kilogram, but the deviation are in the gram. Okay. So, so IDT converted to kilogram. Yes, yes. If you uh, you have to else you can convert this 500 gram to kilogram or all these observation into the gram. Okay. But the unit should be same. Now, so sigma is the 0 0.5, right? Now. As for the question, you suspect it is too low. Then what will be the alternative? That means it will be greater than, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Correct. And samples are given to you. Since sigma is 0 0.5, sigma, uh, I mean, uh, null is this one. Alternative is uh, sigma is greater than 0 0.5. Then which test I will prefer? It's a chi-square test, right? Chi-square test. Yes. And for that, uh, what is the test? Reject H naught when S square is greater than C square, right? right. See, if you, if you remember these all kind of tests, then it's a good. Uh, if it's not, then we have, uh, I mean, we will provide it in the formula sheet. Which kind of test, uh, which kind of alternative, which test you have to use, okay? So, but alternative you have to identify by your own if it's not given directly. It is clear, yes, sir. Here we are we using chi square test. Yeah, because see, we are going to test the sample variance, right? It's a test for the standard deviation, not for the mean. If it's a test for the mean, then I will use either G, either T, based on the conditions. Okay. Sir. Clear? I mean, this thing is clear. So you can do the calculation, further calculation, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now. Yes. <clears throat> now come to this one. What is this? See, uh, here uh, now I think uh, you will get idea. 
वेट ऑफ स्पीसीज ऑफ स्पेरल्स हैव अ स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू टेन ग्राम ओके सपोज सैंपल ऑफ थर्टी स्पेरल्स फ्रॉम टू डिफरेंट लोकेशन रिजल्ट इन रिस्पेक्टिव सैंपल एवरेजेस ऑफ दिस एंड दिस Do the squirrel have same average weight in the two locations? Now I think uh, now Maharaj, I think it's clear to you. Uh, here sigma is directly in, given, right? In this case, sigma is directly given, sir. Ha, so ha. it is it is clear ha. in this case. Okay. Here sigma is given, but uh, fortunately sigma one is sigma two is the same. Yes. Okay. So by the question, it is clear. We have to use the two sample test. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Because what is the question saying? Question is saying we have to uh, see. It's something interesting question. You have two different kind of samples. You may interest to know like um, what is the average of these two, right? Whether average are varying or average are equal and all things, right? So here, squirrel has the same average weight in the two locations. So what will be my alternate uh, null hypothesis? Mu one equal to mu two. What will be the alternative? You are not. Now, for this, I will use the G test. These things, right? The yes, procedure is the same, right? Sigma is the given to you. Now, come to that question. Uh, the practice assignment is there, right? Okay. Now, so it's saying a normal samples of forty fibers manufactured using processor has a mean length of sixteen point seven centimeters and a standard deviation of point five centimeters. Okay. Let me come to this point. I think uh, that is okay. So x one to x forty, let's say is a uh, iid normal sixteen point seven and not this sixteen point seven. It's a mu one comma let's say sigma one square. Okay. As per the question, yes, yes. standard deviation is given to me, right? So yes, that yeah. means sigma one square is given to had. I mean one estimate is given to me, which is s one square, which is Point five square, okay. So in the place of sigma one square, you can directly use just this value and uh, an estimate of this because these things you know, right? For the large samples, you can expect the sample variance as the population variance. Means sample variance is an unbiased estimate of the population variance. Okay, that is the meaning. Yeah, okay. but uh, okay. you are. Hmm. In this case. This is also the sample variance, right? It is why it is not the sample variance. It is the sample variance, right? Yeah, it's a sample variance, but just an estimate of this. Hmm. See, see. Okay, are you able to relate this one or not? Expected value of x square is sigma square. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. 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 So okay. if you uh, go in uh, some advanced statistics, I don't. I think uh, sir has covered or not. So I can write down the sigma square hat as just s square. Means, the estimate of the population variance is the sample variance. Mm. Yeah. Okay? okay. So this estimate is given to you directly, not from the observations. I mean, not from the. I mean, it's not like you have to compute from the observations. Uh, in this case, it is from the observations only, right? They yes. It's, it's, yeah. It's a from the observation, but it's it's the estimate of sigma square, sigma one square. I, I think it is not estimate. It is the actual variance. That is what they are meaning. No, estimate of sigma one square means this is the s is s one square means variance of this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, variance of this one. Yes. Okay, it's directly given to you. Sir, but right. n is only forty. Yeah, n is the forty in in in, in statistic more than thirty. Uh, we are considering as large sample. Okay. Okay. Sir. okay. So that is why we are considering this as. Yes, sample. yes, yes, yes. Because of the number. Yes, yes, yes. So if the number is ten or something, then we will not. We will do the t test then. But uh, number is thirty, right? One, one, like if one, it's more than more thirty, thing. it's large. If less than thirty, it's small. Okay, one more thing. Let me clarify. Uh, t test for the two sample mean uh, is not in your uh, course actually. Okay, okay. Okay. So one thing, either uh, this will be provided, or uh, you have to compute from the observation. Right? Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah. Okay, so what? Okay, so what will be the x bar here? It will be normal mu one comma. This is point five square divided by forty. Yeah. Correct. Yes. And what will the y bar? Normal mu two comma. Uh, what's that? Point six. 
Uh, yeah, hello. 
Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, actually, I, I, yeah, I went for the water and <laughs> I had to connect my laptop also with the charging point. Uh, okay. So, is my screen visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. So now see. <clears throat> See, uh, these all things, uh, these examples we have seen, right, in week 10 or week 11, whether the con is authentic or not. Now, so we'll see the what is the likelihood ratio test, basically. Okay. So likelihood ratio test is nothing but, so it's for, it, it is defined for the simple null and the simple alternative. So simple null and simple alternative means H0 is given to equal to something. And the alternative is also given to equal to something. It's not uh, not equal to greater than at least one. So it's a simple value will be given to you. Now, in likelihood ratio, this is meaning uh, terms ratio. So in uh, okay, what we have done for the likelihood finding the likelihood. The, the product of all the product oh. of the marginal. Oh. Uh, I mean PMF for PDF of all the uh, random variables, right? For all. Yes. Right? Yes. So here. In likelihood ratio test, uh, we take the ratio for alternative to null. Null. Correct. This is something standard procedure has been defined. So, if suppose there is something test, uh, simple null is given to you, simple alternative given is given to you. So, I can directly use the likelihood ratio test in some practical scenario also. But in normal, I mean, see, in most of the cases, it's not possible. Some uh direct value is given to me right it's, it should be like it will be like let's say mu is equal to eight and the mu is greater than eight or mu is less than eight it's a see it's a uh, less you can less so uh, can say less time or uh, uh, not every time uh it will be given like mu is equal to eight or uh, mu is equal to, equal to nine but if it's given then i i can directly use the likelihood ratio test okay so this is something so test is i will reject my null hypothesis when if this uh, likely values of likelihood ratio is greater than some constant okay this is the criteria are you getting yes sir yes sir yes. okay yes. so the same thing uh, we can done for we, we can do for the coin uh, example so in coin example uh, see hypothesis was given See, in the coin example, you can see hypothesis is given. Uh, authentic coin is known to be probability is 0. 0.5. And when it's a counterfeit coin, then probability is 0. 0.6. So simple alternative is given to me, right? Okay. Right. So right. P is 0. 0.5 and P is the 0. 0.6. Correct? So far, so good. Now, how will you compute the likelihood? See, suppose you toss the coin 100 times. Let's say N times. Okay, uh, let's consider for the five times after I will generalize it. And suppose I got the output one, zero, one, one, and zero like this. Okay, and I'm saying uh, null is 0. 0.5 and alternative is 0. 0.6. Okay, and what is the likelihood ratio? It's a product of uh, GX, XIB, likelihood of the uh, alternative and likelihood of the uh, null. null, correct. Now, if for this, so how I, I will got the likelihood, it will be something 0. 0.6 into 3. 0. 0.4 into yeah. 0. 0.6 into yeah. 0. 0.6 into 0. 0.4, 0. right? That means what? 0. 0.6 raised power Q, 0. 0.4 raised power square, correct? Correct. If you go, if you consider the probability for the uh, null, what it will be? 0. 0.5 raised power 5? Correct. Correct. Now, so what is this three? What is this three? Three means number of ones yes. in your sample, right? And what is two? Number of zeros, right? In sample, right? Yes. Correct. So in general, can I write down the 0. 0.6 raised power, let's say W? So here G and F are probabilities. Yeah, it's a probabilities. It can vary as per the different scenario, but now it's a probability. So 0. 0.6 is for W and 0. 0.4 is for N minus W. Can I write this or not? Correct. Correct. Yes. W means uh, number of ones in the sample and N minus W is yes. number of one, zero in the sample. And what about this? It's a 0. 0.5 is for N direct. Correct. Correct. This is the same things. Now, 
so what is the likelihood ratio test when i will reject it when this ratio is greater than some constant i will reject by h not that's the likelihood ratio test correct correct clear yes okay i mean it's a, for n is equal to 100 i can reject h not if number of uh, uh, h is greater than 55 see why okay anyone why is the greater than 55 that that this is what we could not understand okay see it's a just example first of all and if i am rejecting the h not means probability is not 0.5 right yeah it's a, it can be greater than 55 60 56 and all things correct it's a just example no need to worry it's a uh, 55 exact okay yeah. so you got the fund of likelihood ratio test see instead of this any other distribution is given to you uh -huh. then you can You how to find, find that the hmm? how to find the cs how to find the you have to find the c right no no see some c will be greater than right hmm. see okay suppose i'm saying you will reject your h not if number of heads is 55 okay then you will oh. uh, proceed for this and you will find out the value of this t whether it's greater than 55 or not so c will be given to us yeah, we cannot how, how i will compute right no, no, how c Are will you... be given to us is it But in this in this question will okay, okay 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 suppose suppose what i am saying this information i am saying it's given to you okay this all correct i am i am saying uh, you have to reject your h not if uh, number of heads is greater than let's say 58 okay your c is 58 you will perform the likelihood ratio test you will compute this all things okay and suppose you are tossing the coin let's say 200 times so it will be 0.6 raised power 200 and 0.4 raised power uh, something not 200 let's say uh, you are getting the one let's say 105 times i mean all the information will be provided to you then you can directly uh, compute so if, this one if w is directly given then there is no test right c is also given w is also given means uh there is no test means uh, if we know w and if we know huh? c then it is directly we we will see whether w is greater than c right okay we are talking number of heads uh, okay, okay 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 so c is not we not known right so how to calculate c but uh, i think there should be information i think in the right side there is a log and all he took mm -hmm. um, but, but uh, for this also we need c after this we don't know how to solve for sir in the question like mm -hmm. was it given like some information was given or what can we like scroll up and see the question uh no it's not okay is there any activity question let me see uh is there any act activity though so we can get the uh, it's additional lecture 1 right <clears throat> okay so here null is given to us directly right alternative is given to us a sample is observed what is the likelihood ratio function for the observed sample so likelihood ratio function okay so x is the normal mu comma 2 right see it's directly asks about likelihood ratio function right not uh, some criteria okay okay, okay so This is just to just a likelihood ratio function. The criteria for this in in that lecture example, there is that the example is there. Coin toss example is there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The formula is also given in the right side, written by um, Andrew sir. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is not very clear. Okay, after. this one, this one, na, huh? this one you are talking about. Yeah, right side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he took okay. the log. He took the log. He brought W outside, mm -hmm. but how to finally how I to? I mean, he is saying according to some number of one or number of head is uh, greater than some. Okay, I think mm -hmm. uh, as for this one, I think it's a just a simple example. So we will know uh, W, we will know N, right? Then C we are finding out, is it? Uh, we so can C, do, yeah. C, even this log C is still there, right? So you you would need it. No, 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 no. One thing, one thing. Yeah, it can be like this. Suppose uh, some information for W is given to you, correct? Some information about your N is given to you. You can find out your C or not. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Then okay. you can. Yeah, I can find out and uh, as per the those uh, as per the value of C, I can uh, give the conclusion by acceptance or rejection. Hmm. Okay. See. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. See, as the previous examples, what we have done. Uh, <clears throat> Suppose alpha is given to me, and I computed f z inverse one minus alpha and all thing c equal to some value, right? Correct. Then I got some value of c let's say one point six eight five. Yes. Yes. Based on this, I sample I reject my h not greater than c and less than c, right? Correct. Correct. The same thing we can do, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think this is for just an example. I think. Okay. Hmm. Now it is clear. Yeah, yeah, I think I think so. It's a uh, this only I didn't know. W is see the final exam uh, expression W greater than log five to the power n. Okay, okay, so okay, so it's for simple calculation. Okay. Yeah. If uh, you have calculator, then I can directly compute this value. Yeah. Right. Okay. But that will be the W, right? That will be the W. Yes, yes, yes. That will be But the we w. have to find the C, right? Okay, okay. From here, W is greater than log of five n. Oh, okay, okay. See, 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 see. From there, I can, I can find out. Okay, okay. No, what is that? Okay, so as per you see, so I'm writing down this directly. Okay. Okay. It is. It, will that be okay or? Should I yeah, know? yeah. It is okay. It is okay. It is okay. So W is greater than log of five to the power n five power n c by four to the power n four is power n divided by log three by two. log of three by two. So it's saying uh, it's a something W C right? Yeah. This is called W C. So W C is equal to Log of five and c divided by four is four n divided by log of three by two. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Suppose I have information about n, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, some info, but it's a matter of if I know c, then I I know the w, right? Hmm. N we know. N we will know. N we will know. That's for sure. Then how to calculate this? C. C. We have to calculate, right? So W all. Uh, I couldn't understand this thing. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, one second. So from here, if suppose I have information about C. Some C. Okay, just assume. Suppose you know the C, fifty-five and all things. Okay. Then it is easy, right? If I know the C, I will get some value of W C. Yeah. Correct. If I yes. know the C, I will get some value of W C. If then I will check whether the number of ones is greater than this W C or not. Correct. But C will be in what number? Fifty-five is the W C, right? Finally. No, no. C is the fifty-five, right? Is it C or W C? Tip C. Oh, okay, okay, okay. One second, one second. Okay, okay, okay. I think uh, you are getting confusion whether this fifty-five is W C or C, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. C. Suppose the uh, number of ones is the W. Okay, this W C is the fifty-five. I think. Hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, I think so because this without uh, giving the value of c, I will I, I will not be able to compute the w c right. It's not like some j test and all t test. Correct. I can Correct. directly see the values. Okay. Correct. So, so in, I, this, in this uh, lecture, c was not mentioned at all. What is? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. I think sir has taken some directly, but uh, you can treat like uh, suppose uh, it some test will be given that you have to reject h not when your t is greater than some value. Based on this value, I can define my. Name. I mean, I can uh, take the uh, conclusion about uh, my final answer. Okay. okay, I will. I will look into more on it. I think okay. at the examples. But I think for this examples, only functions you have to identify. So you can directly compute it, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah
likelihood right yeah maybe or should i okay maybe okay let me do how is this done I, okay I okay let, let me do let me. okay so how is the likelihood ratio is defined as likelihood of the uh, uh for the alternative and for the marginal right yeah now so what is the uh, mu is not mu is equal to minus 1 and mu is equal to 1 and normal mu comma 2 okay so sample is normal normal mu comma 2 right and it's uh, something uh, uh, h not is mu equal to minus 1 and mu is equal to 1 right yes Now, yes so if it's normal we got the what is the pdf 1 upon the root 2 pi sigma right yeah uh, exponential of 1 minus 2 sigma square x minus mu square right Correct. so since uh, i'm not considering these things okay because this will automatically cancel out right yes for the numerator and denominator right Correct. so what it will be I, it will be 1 minus uh, i raised to minus 1 by 2 sigma square so okay one second let me write down like this exponents e raised power minus 1 upon 2 sigma square so it will be 2 uh, 2 square i mean uh, uh, 4 right sigma square is the 4 right a uh, 2 correct yeah yeah yes yes so minus 1 by 4 what it will be x1 minus minus uh, 1 by 8 right no no sigma square is 2 right a uh, sigma square is 2 yes yes okay so okay so it will be e raised power Minus one by four x two minus so mu is minus one right? Yeah. Uh, no one for the alternative. Alternate one. Yes. So it will be plus one right? X two plus one is square. It is for minus four x three plus one whole square. So on e raised to minus one by four x n plus one whole square right? Are you getting? Alternate. So is... numerator is null hypothesis. No, no, numerator no. is the alternative. Alternate means it is minus one, right? Oh yes, yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just thanks, thanks, thanks for this. Uh, I think I took the minus one by mistake. Okay. So alternate is minus. So it will be minus. It is for minus one by four. X one minus one is square, right? Yeah. So minus one by four. X two minus one is square. So on e raised to the minus one by four, x n minus one is square. Right? Yeah. Divide by e raised to the minus one by four, x one plus one is square. Yes. X two plus one is square. X n plus one is square. Right? Yes. Yes. Now, so now I think you have to solve the this just okay. So what it will be? E raised to the minus one by four. Summation of i to n x i minus one whole square, right? Yeah. Uh, divide by e raised to the minus one by four. Summation of i to n x i plus one square, right? Correct. Correct. So e raised to the minus one by four. Can I write down the this thing? Summation i to n x i minus one square minus of I mean minus minus will be plus if I will take this in upper side. So x i plus one square, right? Yes. So what it will be? E raised power one by four summation of i to n x i plus one square minus summation i to n x i minus one square, right? Yes. Correct. So what it will be? It will be summation of this, 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 this. See, if you solve this, what I will get? X one square plus one plus two x one, right? Correct. Yeah. And if you solve this, I will get x one square plus one minus two x one, right? Correct. So this will get cancel out. Correct. Yeah. I mean, because of the minus, right? Yes, yes, yes. What you will get? Four times of x one. Correct. Mm. So similarly, what I will get? So what will happen to the summation? See, uh, let me clarify. That I have done for the one term. So for the one term, I got four four x one, right? Yeah. For the second term, uh, I will get four x two, right? Correct. Similarly, four x n, right? Yes, yes. So yes, sir. 
so it will be what? e raised power uh, summation of x i right yeah got it See, yeah, yeah this is for the one term only x1 plus 1 is square so you can do for the n term right yes sir so i mm. think uh, exponential of okay last option is correct let me check why last is correct uh, number of number into mean yeah correct correct because x bar oh, is what like... summation of x i by n right so summation yeah. of x i i i can replace with the n times of x bar so it will be e raised power n minus uh, x i uh, mean e raised power n times of x bar that is exponential of n times of x bar right yes yes yeah now you got the how you can find the likelihood and the ratio of the likelihoods yes, correct right right so the same thing you can do for any kind of distribution okay. sir hmm? sir if likelihood of uh, alternate is more than the alternate likelihood of then likelihood ratio is not defined Then alternate is correct. See, likelihood ratio test is only applicable in case of simple null versus simple hypo uh, alternative. Okay. Okay. Means here, see what means of simple H not was given to us mu is equal to minus one, and H one was given to us mu is equal to minus uh, mu is equal to one. So it's a simple. Ah, uh, composite means. It's a suppose I'm saying mu is not equal to minus one, some greater than, some less than, like that. Okay. It is clear. Likelihood ratio test is clear to all of you. So that is okay, sir. In general, I must. If likelihood of alternate is more than likelihood of uh, mm -hmm. null, mm -hmm. then alternate may be true. Yes. Okay, sir. Okay, so there is some uh, theorem, optimality of the likelihood ratio test. Means, uh, see, uh, both null and both alternate, uh, I mean, null and al alternative are simple. So there is some test we are performing. I mean, we are for uh, at a significant level alpha, we have to find the, we have to achieve a value of one minus beta, which is the power of the test. Okay. I mean, we try to find uh, at least as high as one minus beta. Okay, it's a good to power should be more, right? Yes, yes. Okay, that's see as as I have told you, uh, we can't define the uh, likelihood ratio test for the composite hypothesis, right? Means some yeah. greater than, some less than kind of things. Okay, here is the graph. Means for uh, at alpha. One minus beta is this one. Okay, it mm. can be more values can be there, but we are for best we are considering this one. Okay, like okay. this. Okay, I mean here you can see the uh, this example. So what is the best values? This all, correct? For the beta, see it is a beta. Okay, these are the best values of the beta. Clear? So yeah, this is the additional content, right? So yeah, it's the additional content. Okay. So so far the uh, everything is clear. Right. Okay. So do you want to this things goodness of fit and all things, independence of chi square? Uh, not yet checked. Okay, you have not checked yet. Okay, so if you want, so I can discuss right now, or else what we can do, we can. Uh, Discuss in the tomorrow session also. Tomorrow is one problem solving session, right? Yeah, tomorrow is eight o'clock session, right? Yeah, eight o'clock session uh, for the problem solving session. Okay. So uh, we can discuss it tomorrow also. Okay. Okay. So 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 uh, till then, what you can do, you just go through the lecture video. Okay. Right. I mean, uh, because while uh, TA will discuss or we will discuss, you will get a clear idea for that. Okay. 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 So. Okay then. Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hope you got the concepts. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me let me stop the streaming. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.